at how to insert the second sentence into the first one. You see I've marked the beginning spot here after the comma. This is where the indicator for the relative clause comes. And indicators are relative pronouns. I've written them down here. This table is not complete yet, but if you take a closer look here, you realize that this actually looks pretty much like the articles. Actually, this is the article table, but the relative pronouns are a bit different at certain points. For A2, this doesn't bother us much. It's only here and here. That we have to be aware of the fact that we are talking about relative pronouns. So for now, as we are replacing their man, which is the subject of the sentence, we just take the nominative form. Obviously it's there, so we simply take the there from here and put it here. So now we know we are talking about a relative clause so far. Der Mann, der kauft ein Bier. A relative clause is a Nebensatz, a side clause. And you remember from the other videos, side clauses have one specialty, they take the verb at the very end. So the verb here is ist. Let's cross that's true because through because we have used it already. So now I still have some space here and also some words left. These I can simply copy. So finally I have the sentence der Mann der sehr durstig ist kauft ein Bier. The man who is very thirsty buys a beer. And this is how you create simple relative clauses. It will become more clear in the next video about the accusative. Just let me summarize a little bit. First of all, you need a relative pronoun at the beginning. It's always at the beginning of the relative clause and at the end you have a verb. The rest of the sentence you just copy. And please remember, once you have the contact, the relative clause goes directly after the contact here. And that's all you need to know. This is a very basic form of working with these. Let's take a look at the acquisitive now.